We are on the first lesson of chapter two, which focuses on ordered pairs. We're going to be checking solutions to ordered pairs and creating a table of ordered pair solutions and then using a real world application as well. Uh, just to before we begin, just we're on the same page here, an ordered pair is a pair of numbers that can be used to locate a point on the coordinate plane. So the coordinate plane has an X axis, which counts up and, and backwards for the X and then a Y axis, which counts up for the Y. And then the ordered pair listed as X then Y. So in this case, if we look at the X, this dot is on the X number line, it would be a three, and then a Y number line, it would be a two. So this order pair would be listed as three, two. So for this first part, we have to determine whether each ordered pair that's listed here is a solution of Y equals three X plus two. So we need to replace this two, which is the X with this X here, and then this five, which is the Y with this Y here. So if we're going to rewrite this problem, it'll be 5 equals 3 times 2 plus 2. Is this going to be a solution? Are they going to both equal the same number? Well, we know that 3 times 2 is 6, and then plus 2, that would give us 8. So does 5 equal 8? No, it certainly does not. So this would be not a solution. Let's look at 3 and 11 then. So we have 11 for y equals 3 times 3 for x plus 2. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 plus 2, that would give us 11. So does 11 equal 11? It certainly does, so this would be a solution. Now we're going to use a table to solve these. So when we change the input, the x is the input, the output then changes. This is an independent variable, and then the y is the dependent variable. So if we're going to plug in 1, 2, 3, and 4 for x, it's going to change the output for y. So we have 1 for x, and then here's our equation, y equals 8 times x, and then adding 1 at the end. So if we're going to do 1 here, we would do 8 times 1 plus 1. And then we would do, for y, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so y would be 9. If we're going to write it as an ordered pair, it would be 1 for x, 9 for y. Let's look at this, 8x plus 1 for 2, so it would be 8 times 2 plus 1. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17, so y is 17. So our ordered pair would be when x is 2, y is 17. Let's find out when x is 3 then. It would be 8 times 3 plus 1. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So our ordered pair would then be 3 and 25. 4, I think we know the drill by now. 8 times 4 plus 1. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 is 33, and then it would be 4 and 33. Notice that this keeps going up by 8. That's because we're multiplying x by 8, so that makes sense that this would work. Let's do a real-world application then. So in most states, the price of each item is not the total cost. Sales tax must be added. If sales tax is 6%, the equation for the total cost is C for cost, equals 1.06 times the price, where P is the price before tax. So therefore, how much will Dominic's $160 set of jerseys cost after sales tax? So we would input this for P, right? This is the price before tax. So that's, we're gonna multiply that times 1.06. Cost equals 1.06 times 160. And then we could use a calculator to solve that. 160 times 1.06. This gives us 169.6. And then I'm going to do 6-0 because it's money and you never have 0.6 cents, you have 60 cents. 